Hello everybody, my name is Graham Elwood and you are watching The Political Vigilante, an article submitted by Patreon supporter Nicholas M. Thompson. Nicholas, thank you for submitting this. Heat wave in Antarctica melted 20% of the island's snow in nine days. This happened uh, late February, but we weren't really talking about it because of Corona. Now Corona is a serious thing for sure, but so is this. If we're in the midst of a global pandemic, and the climate is collapsing, which it is, gee, I wonder all of these people out of work, I wonder if we could put them to work making not just ventilators and masks, but also products that use green energy, green technology, solar panels for everybody. We could be putting the whole country to work, preventing the pandemic, setting us up to, to be ready in position for the next pandemic and getting off of oil. Because you think a pandemic's bad now? Just wait if we have, uh, we're gonna have hurricanes this summer in the Gulf states. We're gonna have brush fires in California and the rest of the West in the fall. It's coming, that is coming. There's no way that isn't coming. And now this is 20% of an island snow melted in nine days, is that not alarming for you? We should be like, hey, Exxon, Shell Oil, you're done in the oil business. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna start making product, you're gonna start making this, I've talked about it, the algae that pulls CO2 from the air. Now you're gonna, re re you know, you're gonna start making biodiesel, whatever the thing is. Plastic from corn, plastic from cactus, hemp-based products, whatever the thing is. You know how we're just like, how do we get masks? How do we do this? Everyone's working together, and the working together that we're seeing in the middle of this pandemic is actually inspirational. Ford and General Motors saying, we're going to start making ventilators. There's a t-shirt company here in Los Angeles that was shut down because it was considered not essential, and then the guy went, wait a minute, I'll start making cotton masks. Riverside County in, Los, in, in, in Southern California just implemented today, anyone outside has to wear a mask. I think it's a matter of time before Los Angeles and every major city is gonna implement that law because they put that law in effect, I believe in the 40s during the polio epidemic. So you can't go outside without a mask on. If you don't have a mask, you get a fine. So they, this, this t-shirt company, so he reconfigured his, his, his equipment, got the right, pro, the, you know, the, the right textiles or whatever, and his staff is working and they're, they're, they're through the roof and orders. We could be doing this with the environment as well. We could be doing this. A nine day heat wave scorched Antarctica's northern tip earlier this month. New NASA images revealed that nearly a quarter of an Antarctic island snow cover melted in that time, an increasingly common symptom of the climate crisis. This is the before and after photo in nine days. In nine days, it lost all of this. These are mel melted ice pools. This is scary. This isn't, oh man, 50 years down the road. That's the thing with climate change. A lot of people think it's this, oh, it's this boogeyman that's way far away. No, no, kids, it's happening today. And let's say this starts causing flooding. Let's say there's flooding in Seattle that's in the middle of this epidemic. Then what? Let's say Manhattan has two feet of water in the middle of this pandemic. Then what? You know, Manhattan that has a bunch of closed hospitals because Cuomo shut down literally 20,000 hospital beds over the last 10 years. He's gutted Medicare in New York State and also gone after the nurses union. See how neoliberalism screws us over? It also creates this. Globalization, jobs, jobs, jobs. Well, what about the environment? We could be putting everybody to work reversing this. See how we're just, how we're mobilizing everybody? We're graduating nursing and doctor students like immediately get out there, get the fight. We need to make masks. We're buying masks and we should be making masks here. We should be making ventilators here. We should be training our schools, everything. We could put the whole country and the whole world together and stopping a pandemic and stopping climate change are the same. Because a climate collapse is only gonna exacerbate a pandemic. By the end of the nine-day heat event, 
Much of the land beneath the island's ice cap was exposed and pools of meltwater opened up on its surface. That's what that is right there. That's meltwater. I'm sorry, I said it wrong the first time. It's meltwater. Antarctica experienced its hottest day on record earlier this month, peaking at 64.9 degrees Fahrenheit. Los Angeles measured the same temperature that day. When Antarctica is the same temperature as LA, we've got serious problems. So what happens if this pandemic keeps going over the summer and it's 125 here or 110, it's 130 in Phoenix? And this keeps melting. And then a second strain comes back in the fall, which Dr. Fucci has said is going to happen. All the doctors like, another strain is going to happen. We should be working on finding a vaccine for this. Absolutely. And making all of bringing more of our manufacturing back here, including green energy, finding the most efficient green way. How do we, the, the, the question should be not do we get off of oil? No. How do we get off of oil by 2030? How do we do it? Because this isn't going to go away. We can't just push this aside. What, when Florida's underwater, when Manhattan's underwater, when what, when what happens? Seattle can't, is, and we have to evacuate the East Coast. We have to take 50 to 100 million people and push them inland. Then what? Just to give you an idea, I have plotted the amount of meltwater reaching ocean from peninsula as simulated by Mar forced by GFS. Although the absolute numbers need to be confirmed, the recent warm event was well the highest sea level contribution this summer. Looks like that Arctic heat wave earlier this month generated some serious melting atop the peninsula glaciers. Look at this. Look at how much it spiked. November, December, January. This is the height of winter. 65 degrees in the Antarctic <clears throat> in February. And earlier this month, a massive iceberg along the western edge of Antarctica broke off from the Pine Island Glacier. The 116 square mile chunk of ice likely fractured as a result of warmer sea temperatures and is evidence that the glacier is quickly responding to climate change. 116 square mile chunk of ice. What, what, the, ha, uh, we need a Green New Deal and we need it now. And in that Green New Deal is union paying manufacturing jobs for green energy, green technology, free college. So everybody goes to college and learns and studies. How do I, how do we come up with new solutions? We got to come up with new solutions. We're getting really inventive in the middle of this pandemic, right? How do we figure this out? We're trying to figure this out because we're forced to. This is not forcing you? Wake up. This pandemic woke everybody up to how capitalism kills people, how a for-profit healthcare system is literally killing people, killing people. Trump got rid of the pandemic task force two years ago. That's killing people. Cuomo closed 20,000 hospital beds, shut them down. That's killing people. That's neoliberal globalization, capitalism, toxic capitalism, murdering people. And more people are going to die if we don't address the fact that the fucking planet is going under. So wake up. And now is our chance. The worker has the most leverage now that we've ever had. Last time the worker had this much leverage was after the Great Depression. Or during the Great Depression, rather. And we're about to hit a mag ma massive... We just had 10 million people file for unemployment insurance in a week. 
That's just this month. What happens March 1st when people can't pay their bills again? People have been laid up and not working for a month, a month and a half. What if this stretches out to two months, to three months? Some idiot at, uh, up top is going to go, put everyone back to work, and some people are going to go, and then the outbreak's going to start again, and then everyone's going to get panicked again, and then the markets are going to crash. Green New Deal, Medicare for all, free college tuition, student debt forgiveness, puts this country back to work, fixing this pandemic, setting us up so we'll handle the next one better, and reversing climate change so the human race doesn't go extinct. That's what we're up against. You think 100,000, 200,000 deaths is scary? Try seven and a half billion. Thanks for watching the show. Shave your knuckles for justice. Hey everybody, like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification button and the subscribe button, even if you've done it before because they're unsubscribing many of you every day. Watch the ads all the way through. If you click skip ad, I don't get paid. Also, support us at patreon.com slash Graham Elwood or rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood. Rockfin.com is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. All my videos are on Rockfin ad free. Thanks for watching.